Hi, I'm S.J. Ankauskas uh, of Unique Glass Colors. Uh, we're filming here in the marvelous uh, filming studio UGC of Margot Clark. Today I'm going to be showing you some information on details, which is what we manufacture. Uh, it's a specialty line of color, which is exactly what its name says it's to, for doing detail type work. It comes in seven colors, white, blue, black, brown, green, yellow, and red. It comes in a half ounce, and it comes in a full ounce. Uh, also today we'll be using the 5 Ot Script Liner Margot Brush and the Margot Miracle Brush we'll be talking about using Unique Glass Color Medium. And I'll be showing you how to use uh, the details using a fluid writer pen. Uh, and we'll talk about what other things you can do with them. So. Uh, let me show you first, uh, they come in powders, and the way you mix them, the way I mix them, is, and we'll do it with black, sorry, brown. So as you see, they come in, in powders, and this is green. Uh, so we'll take a little bit, you don't need much, depending on how much work, you know, how much you're going to be doing. I like to put a little mound there and then in the center just make like a little um, like a little hole almost kind of like uh, I know in baking you do that and then take a little bit you just don't need much about three two or three drops right in the center and then I use the back of the brush you can use whatever you want and then you mix it together now this can be mixed usually recommend mixing it kind of like to an ink type consistently uh, if you're doing something different you can always mix it to whatever um, consistency you want but if you're going to use it in a flow pen uh, or a um, calligraphy pen you need to mix it to a um, an ink type consistency and so there you go that's it now in order to write with it the simplest thing to do is and this can be done on both colored glass it can be done on float glass it can be done on 96 90 uh, it can be done on enamels uh, it can be done on already enameled tiles you can do whatever you wish with it but it's very simple you load up your brush and then you can start doing it any way you wish to do. Little doodles. And you can start out very fine lines, taper out, turn into very fat lines like that. And this will fire on glass. The difference between these and enamels is that this has much more pigment into it. and. Uh, if you did as thin as I've done here with this color, with the enamels, it would burn off. And the details allow you uh, not to do that. Uh, the other thing that we can do is, I mentioned the uh, flow pen. You can get these anywhere. The trick with the flow pen is that you've got to load it so that you don't put a big glob in the center, because if you do, it'll be an air bubble in there and the the ink will never get down there or detail never gets down there. So I usually take a bit, put it on the side, keep going on the side to give it a little air so as it goes down to the base, it nicely, sometimes you gotta give it a little tap. And the nice thing about doing with a flow pen and with a calligraphy pen is of course then you can, sometimes you gotta give it little taps to get it down to where it's supposed to be. And then once you got it going, now you can go ahead and write any way you want. You can sign my name. You can add little dots. And all this will nicely uh, remain on the glass. Flow pen is nice. Once you're done with it like this, you gotta make sure you clean it. Otherwise, if you don't clean it, it's gonna get stuck. So let me show you a couple examples that we have using, oh sorry, before I do that, so when I 
do little bits like that, I will end up with uh, too much. And what you can do is you can reconstitute this. All you need to do is this is a brown here. I'm going to add just one or two little drops of medium. Let that soak. Get the back of your brush in there. Start stirring it around. And you can see it reconstitutes very nicely. And so now if you're either have been interrupted doing your work and things dry out, you now are able to come back and reuse. Same way, load up your little brush or your pen, and there you go, start drawing away. So there you go. So you don't waste any of this. Uh, it's very fun to use, and like I said, if you get interrupted and it dries out, you just go back, put a little medium on it, and you're good to go. Let me show you a couple examples. Um, these are some examples on float glass, but you can see what we've got. This is using a brush, so it's a little thicker, um, but those are the colors. And then this is using the flow pen where you can do very fine little dots, and this has already been fired. So uh, this is nice, this stays on, this doesn't rub off. It does really good that way. The other way of doing it is using the brush. And if you're better with a brush than with a pen, you can be quite fancy and do type script type, uh, printing, any of those. And these are also the different colors on clear glass. Once you're tired of just doing on clear glass, we now have the ability to uh, go on glass and go on uh, enamel, which this enamel was first put on with uh, a layering mix, allowed to dry, and then using the script liner brush to do all the fine detail on the uh, enamel, and then using a um, Uh, calligraphy pen to do the different writings on the glass. So you can see there are different uh, colors and they all come out very nice. You can do very fine. So you can do some very nice little detail work uh, using the details. One of the other things, just for grins, uh, Margo has done a lot of the um, mm -hmm. A lot of the different um, pourings. And you see, you can have sometimes a pouring with this kind of blandish type of thing. So, one of the things you can also do is enhance um, the, the pour. There are different ways you can do, like on this one, what I like to do is I like taking the blue. Again, it has some old stuff here that I'm just reconstituting. loading up, being very careful, and then just enhancing the little areas that are forming the cells, just to give them a little more of a standout. Sometimes this is quite relaxing if you have nothing better to do. And so this is on a pour, which is a uh, Larry mix and enamel, and has not been fired. So if this were to be fired, and here's an example of one that is fired. So you can see, I mean, it's still very nice. It's a very interesting background. You could actually, if you wanted to, uh, do some detail work on top of the fired, but sometimes the non-fired gives you a little tooth. So here's another one that I sort of did uh, the same way, uh, using blue and using white, and it just basically enhances what was kind of a non-detailed type work of the of the um, pour into something which has got a little more brighter, a little more interesting background type of thing. Again, can be used as a background or just as a nice um, piece of art. 
So that's what you can do with that part. Uh, one of the um, other things with the detail work that can be done, this is a piece by Margot, uh, is again, the background is all poor with regular enamels. And then all the rest of this color here is done with the uh, details. Uh, both Margot Clark and uh, Mark Hufford have uh, projects that they have on their website, uh, which go into much more detail of how to do the watercolor effect uh, using the details, how you can mix them to make uh, different colors. You can mix you know, the red with the blue and get a purple, and the red with the yellow to get orange, and multiple different shades of it all. And all of this type of work here is done with the uh, with Margot's Miracle Brush, which is uh, a thicker brush, this one here. And then with the fine script liner brush, all the fine line detail work that can be done. And you can see all that fine line detail work stays where you put it. So you can do some really intricate uh, type of work um, using the details themselves. Another way of doing it is another project. Um, again, uh, same concept, a back pour or a back, this could be done on clear glass if you wanted to. And again, the fine line detail work is done with a script liner, all the fine little lines and little dots and all. And then of course the, the color wash or the shaded type wash that uh, Margot has developed is done using the Margot Miracle brush and this is fired. So this is a permanent thing. This can eventually, if you wanted to, be slumped into a nice little bowl or can just be used as a decorative piece uh, as you see it. Another uh, thing that I've been doing is doing um, thicker pieces to get a three-dimensional type look. Um, what I've done uh, here is um, the tree trunk is done with uh, one of our products called Mud. The rest is just enamel. And then in order to extend the tree branches out, detail, black detail is used to extend. And then on the second piece or the third piece behind, the same thing, the detail is used uh, to make the branches to give it a depth um, of the tree. And so that's our details. Uh, like I mentioned before, what happens, you can get them in one ounce, you can get them in half ounce. Uh, they can be mixed uh, to make different shades, different colors, and they can be put directly on glass for decorating, uh, and they can be used on top of other enamels uh, to give a nice shaded type watch, wash. Uh, Anything that you can dream of, you should try because the only limit of how to use this is really uh, your imagination. Uh, you know, you try to experiment, try to have fun. Uh, if you think you could use something, you should try it and see if it works. Uh, the only limitations really is the fact that it has to be fired uh, and you fire it to your glass. So you won't be firing a 90 or 96 piece of glass to the same temperature you would be uh, float glass, uh, but the, the details uh, range from um, anywhere from 90, 96 to float glass uh, type COEs. So look on our website, uh, www.uniqueglasscolors.com. Uh, there are some write-ups of that. Uh, there are uh, free uh, little videos and information even on um, Glass Art with UGC on Facebook. Uh, so join us, any questions, give us a text uh, or a um, email and we'll try to answer them. That's the end of details.